Well, tonight the scene is very much the same throughout Smith Station. Residents there beginning the task of rebuilding their lives and thankful they are still alive. NBC 15's Nicole Fierro is in Smith Station. She joins us now with more on what they were going through when the deadly storm passed through their town. Smith Station residents spent yesterday hiding for their lives. Today, they're taking it all in. Smith Station, Alabama was forever changed in an instant. Well, the door was open and the window, had, the, the glass had come through and got my hair and everything else. And I was trying to get my dog back here in the back. And uh, right before I knew it, that's when it came through the house. That sound, that unforgettable sound will forever ring in the ears of these neighbors every time the freight train passes through. Came through this morning and me and him both just froze and I was yeah. like, I don't even want to hear the freaking train anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's, it's right here at us again. An EF4 tornado tore apart the lives of these families built over generations. We didn't know where she were and we was devastated trying to find her. Elizabeth Lohman was relieved when she found her 92 year old mother, Bertha Thomas, alive. Go up with her companion. Miss Thomas's home was destroyed, but some memories, even the powerful twister, couldn't take. You my grandchildren. Tonight, even with all this devastation, the people of Smith Station still have their faith. When you walked outside this morning, it was almost, this is going to sound weird, but it was almost like you just fall to your knees and you thank God that everybody's alive. Now you can see repair crews are already extremely busy lifting off massive tree limbs from people's homes, trying to patch up roofs, do what they can to get these families through the night with minor improvements right away. Reporting in Smith Station, Nicole Fierro, NBC 15 News.